Gusto TV's new documentary series, Dog Tales Rescue, is giving viewers a look into some amazing stories of rescue dogs finding their forever homes. Okay, everybody, warning, this is a show that's gonna tug at your heartstrings. <laughs> I was so lucky to have the opportunity to visit Dog Tales Rescue and Horse Sanctuary. It's in nearby King City, Ontario. It's all ahead of tonight's premiere episode. Take a look. Dogtails is a little slice of heaven. Tell us what you guys do here. It's a farm that we got uh, specifically to rescue animals. And we have about 120 dogs that are up for adoption and about 80 horses that we saved from slaughter. We have pigs, ducks, chickens, proper farm. The moment you walk into where the dogs are kept, it's a very different than what people would think a rescue looks like. What was the philosophy behind that? Well, we wanted to make an environment for the dogs, and it was very important for us that they would be comfortable, and also people that will come and see the place, they'll come to adopt for the right reasons, and not because they're sad and they feel like they gotta take the dog out of this place. Dogs are coming here having experienced all kinds of trauma. How do the dogs help one another, or do they, in their own rehabilitation? They definitely help out each other a lot. Um, we do play groups, it's like groups of dogs playing together. You have the confident ones, you have the really timid ones, and the confident ones seem to get the timid ones out of their shell. They would start with us and they wouldn't even play, and then slowly the confident ones would get them playing and acting like dogs. Some fella. So this is Elbe. He's a rapper. He's a cool dude. So a lot of horses um, that can no longer perform on a sport level, uh, many of those horses end up uh, going for meat. I remember the moment I saw him in the kill pen at the slaughter, basically at the, the sale, meat sale. His eyes just captivated me. I mean, he has just the most soul-searching, chocolatey eyes that just grab you, and um, Danielle felt the same way. So we actually go ourselves, and we compete against the meat buyers, and we buy them. You actually buy them? We buy them. And save it's them. It's not the best, but we can do whatever we can, and we give our 80 horses a good home. I'm Danielle and Rob Scheinberg are joining us this morning in studio, along with their rescue dog, Betty. Good morning to all of you. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, Betty. Betty. She's a it's bit, early. It's early in the morning <laughs> for her, for sure. Betty, wake up. There we go. This is so <laughs> there she is. Tell us a little bit about Betty. I know she's seven years old. She is. She was a stray in Israel, and two weeks I was looking for her, actually. <laughs> oh, my god. She's like, I've heard this story before. <laughs> she's like, she knows exactly how to get good for the, for the yeah. cameras. And when did you bring her to Canada? I would say about four years ago, was it? Almost Something five like that. years ago, yeah. yeah. Almost Look, five years ago. Tell us about some of the other dogs that we saw when Melissa came to visit you. Some of these rescue dogs, and what's the biggest challenge when trying to rehabilitate them? Because they come from all over the yeah, world. They do, and a lot of them have severe behavioral issues, and a lot of them are very timid because they've been through terrible things. Mm. Uh, you just have to get to know them and kind of do a plan for each dog. Socializing them, like you saw, is really important. That really helps them and opens them up. I mean, Betty clearly is comfortable in front of the camera, <laughs> yes. but you actually had camera crews come in to Dog Tales and, and they were filming your every move. What yeah. kind of adjustment was that for both of you, for your staff, for the animals to have all of a sudden these one-eyed monsters running around the well, entire facility? In the beginning, it was kind of weird and strange <laughs> and having all these people around and, and filming, but after that, everybody loved it. I think the dogs loved it as well. The horses got used to it. <laughs> it's different people seeing it's it's good socializations for the dogs as well. Yeah. And we just loved it. You know, Danielle, you said that each of these dogs gets an individual plan to rehabilitate them. So you put all this time and energy and investment into them. How difficult is it then to adopt them out, have them go to another family? Very difficult. But oh. we do have a community of people that adopt it from us and they become part of our, our family. Mm -hmm. So we stay in touch, they come all the time, we see pictures, they visit, we do events for people that adopted from us so we can get to see all our kids again. Uh, so, so it's a nice thing, a nice community that we created. 
Yeah. If I can say my sister's part of that community because she worked on the show with yeah. Danielle and Rob, and she has taken home Lewis. How could you not after yes. spending time Who's there? Who's from Miami, Yeah. and he was a street dog in Miami, and he's living a beautiful life here, thanks to both of you and, yeah. and to my sister. I also want to talk about um, when people adopt and they show up. A lot of people have great intentions, mm -hmm. and they think they know enough of what they need to know to adopt an animal, but that's where you guys actually step in as well. So. What do people need to know, or is there a checklist that people need to think through mentally before they know that they're ready to bring home an animal? So when, when a family comes in, first of all, I talk to them usually, and sometimes they come with one idea of what they're looking for, and then it's, they go out with a completely different dog just uh -huh. because, you know, it has to be the right fit. Mm. Especially if you have kids or other dogs, then we do a dog check, or a cat, then we do a cat check. Um, but yeah, but also we have different dogs. So if like, you know, a family comes and they're interested in a timid dog, so the timid dogs, they get a list of what to do and not to do with them. Like secure your house so the dog will not run away. Uh, just walk the dog on a leash for the first two months. So there's different dogs. So, so we kind of have to feel the energy. For me, it's based with energy. See what the family really needs, what would be the right fit, and then go from there. This is going to be such an exciting journey. We thank you both and Betty. Mm -hmm. uh, for visiting us this morning. We Thank can't wait you. to take this ride Thank along you. with you. I can't wait to watch the show with my family. This sounds like a great show for kids. It's going to be a great family show. Mm -hmm. That's a guarantee. Thank you both for Thank joining you. us. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Let's remind everybody that Dog Tales Rescue, it premieres tonight. That is 8.30 p.m. Eastern on Gusto. Do not miss it.